Back here inside the Wellness and Events Center, Vermont defeating NJIT today by a score of 71 to 63. A tough contest for the Highlanders, but they fought hard, but just fell a little short. Mike Ventola now joined by head coach Mike Lane. And Mike, a better effort, especially coming off a tough road loss at Ryder. And, you know, even despite another loss, but you felt, did you feel like your team took some steps forward here this afternoon? I did. You know, we um, we talked about having it look like NJIT basketball. Um, you know, that was something the last two days in practice that we were focused on us a little bit more, running our offense, trying to just kind of define who we are. Um, you know, we asked the team who we were, and we didn't get great answers this week. <laughs> so I think that was really telling. Like they're, you know, they're a little bit out there unmoored, and we just had to get back to what we do. And you know, we went down in the post, and that's where MB did some work, and Jill did some work, and Danny did some work, and that's where it's got to start. It, you know, we can go inside out. Um, you know, and, and Allen will find shots, and Kelly will find shots. But I thought there, that looked like NJIT basketball more today than. Uh, most of the other efforts. No, and you mentioned about MB and Melina Bajic, who had 17 points. Obviously, she exploded today. And I know she's had some peaks and valleys herself mm -hmm. here throughout the mm -hmm. season. I'm sure you and the rest of the coaches were wondering, where's the MB we've heard about going to show up? And it seems like we got a taste of what she could be all about here this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, you know, if the ball gets down there, she can score on the block. There's not many kids who can. You know, so she is a, a huge value to what our, what we're trying to do. And she's got to be active. She's got to get the ball. You know, they were very big. Uh, you know, they're 6'3 down there. They're 6'2 down there. They were playing behind. And we said that. We're like, we're going to get post touches. We just have to be able to, like, make them pay for it. You know, they just the, – a team shouldn't have to play behind on us and dare us to score down there. So I was really happy with our effort to get MB the ball. And, you know, she went at them. You know, I thought a few times maybe their height really bothered her early and she had to kind of figure it out but she did um, and I think going forward that's gonna be a huge game that she can work off of and also to Jillian Libby 9.6 rebounds and she had the tough task of going one-on-one -on -one with Hannah Krimble a lot of the afternoon and though Hannah she got her points but Jill had some nice moments in there and what do you think about her effort here this afternoon Jill's great you know that's the kind of hustle that we can get from Jill she's gonna be all over the floor um, you know, we had an interesting lineup today without Tot, so mm -hmm. we were kind of three bigs, and Danny and Jill sometimes had to be a guard, which sometimes they weren't very used to. Right. Uh, but we had to rely on their experience there. You know, that was, uh, you know, Jill's uh, a senior, Danny's a junior. They can figure it out. I thought they did a really good job of that. And, and you know, Crimble is really good, and she had really good looks. And, you know, we had to get her off her right hand. I thought she got going there because she had two right-hand drives in the second quarter that really hurt us, uh, and then she started to feel it. And I thought we just didn't take away her strength. Um, and she was able to get to her left shoulder a lot in the post, uh, which, again, that's a learning thing. So Jill made her work at times, and it worked. You know, when she gave her what she wanted, it worked for Hannah. <laughs> so, no, absolutely. You know, and that, that's a really big learning lesson for us. We've got to take away their strengths. Now, and speaking of taking away their strengths, you took one in away from Candace Wright. Now, she had 10 points, but she got mm -hmm. fouled out of the game. Mm -hmm. And then Lauren Handy comes in off the bench and kind of picks up her slack. Yep. Now, when you're in those moments, especially with, you know, you getting a chance to continue to learn your players and mm -hmm. getting a chance to see what your players can do, how do they adjust knowing that, all right, you took a key player out in Candace Wright and the Lauren Handy coming in, what do you need to do there to correct? Well, we knew what Handy could do, and we knew that she was a shooter, you mm -hmm. know, and that's, again, that's a great value in, in an offense. You know, here's a, a big kid, 6'2 kid out on the perimeter, and she's draining threes, and she's hitting, you know, mid-range shots. So it's like we're, we're spending so much, you know, attention on 10, and now all of a sudden 14's wide right. open. And, you know, I thought we were a little bit late to some closeouts. I thought our zone got a little bit weak. We didn't cover that high post as much as we should have. Uh, but I think that was because they hit eight threes. You know, they, they were, I think they had five at the half. Um, and that was, that hurt us. You know, I, I think that team can shoot. Uh, but I thought they just felt comfortable on the arc, and we just couldn't get to their shooters today. All right, you kept the turnovers down just 10. I know that's something that mm -hmm. you and your team been working on. But, look, you have a week now between now and LIU Brooklyn, so a chance to recharge batteries. Um, you mentioned that, obviously, some players are battling some injuries, maybe mm -hmm. a chance to get a little healthier. Mm -hmm. With a week now to prepare for LIU Brooklyn, how much focus in practice, or, or shall I say, what are you looking to focus on in practice, or are you going to – these girls are going to get a chance to get some rest in there before their next contest? Yeah, the, we're off tomorrow, uh, so I think they'll like that. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of kids pull a lot of minutes today. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're going to give them today, uh, Monday off. Um, we're going to work an individual kind of skill that still has to be something that we're constantly developing. Um, so we're going to have a Tuesday individual day. Uh, Wednesday is going to be another off day. Uh, and then we'll come hard Thursday, Friday, uh, you know, Saturday ready for the weekend. So 
Um, you know, I think it's – I liked – I saw our offense today. Yeah. I think that's what they have to see. So we're going to do actually quite a bit of film this week mm -hmm. um, so they can start to see film. We had such a stretch there of those first games in like 23 days. Oh, so yeah. we didn't get a lot of time to watch film other than individually. Uh, so we can get in a room together as a team. And I think today we'll see like, hey, that was our offense. We got a post up there. We reversed the ball. Uh, you know, we haven't seen that. So I think it's just – that's who we are. That's how we define ourselves. And I think they can grow from this. I, I'm, you know, I'm charged up about it because, again, if we can get Tot, if right. we can get Amari back, you know, like that just changes. We can get a little bit deeper. And as kids move along, you know, they're watching from the bench. They can see what shots are there for us. Uh, but they have to work. They have to get in the gym with their position coaches and themselves and work on their game. All righty. Well, Mike, good luck. Looking forward to seeing when you guys are back here on the 21st against Kent State. Go get a couple wins, and we'll see you then. We'd love to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, that'll do it. That's head coach Mike Lane. I'm Mike Ventola. Thanks for watching. Thanks.